Ah, what a good time for chapter five. Flight, whatever that means. Well, greetings viewers, we're here. More Path of Radiance. I'm really excited to get started. I've just been playing a whole bunch of Smash and Oh, Ike and Grail? Are they facing off? What's going on? Are they training or something? Uh, father, brother, it's that lady Ike rescued. She's awake. Oh, from the freaking pirate chapter, I remember. Really? Uh, okay. Uh, come on, let's greet our guest. Oh, wait, no, or is it Alencia? It was, okay. Um, so how are you feeling? Oh, I... I'm fine. And you are? Uh, I am Ike's cringy dad. I mean, cringy Ike's dad. I'm not the cringy one. The name's Grail. I'm a commander of this mercenary company. My lord Grail, you are the one who came to my aid, are you not? I don't know how to thank you. Uh, hold on. The one who found you and brought you here is my son, Ike. Uh, well, technically, wasn't it Riss? <laughs> if you want to thank someone, thank him. Well, I guess Ike gets the credit because he was the captain, so whatever. Uh, no, please, that's not... Yeah, it was Riss. Uh, Lord Ike, was it? You have my gratitude. Oh. <laughs> Just, oh. Wow, his voice really is cringy. Pardon my bluntness, but I have some questions for you. Tell me, who are you? What were you doing in that place? Uh, yeah, just in the middle of the woods? Hmm. Uh, the place where Ike found you was evidently a site of a fierce battle between Crimean and Dayan forces. So what was she doing there? Do you have some relation to the Crimean royal family? Uh, I feel like she does. She doesn't say anything. I make no promises, but we may be able to help you. Will you share your story with us? Uh... Potentially, you took me in and cared for me. I will place my trust in you. Okay, that was kind of quick. My name is Alincia Riddell Crimea, or Crimea. I am the daughter of King Raman of Crimea. Okay, so she is. What? Uh, you say you are the princess of Crimea? Yes. That just yes. <laughs> uh, that's an odd claim to make. I've never heard of a king. Crimea having any children? Oh, okay. Of a King Crimea. Uh, that is to be expected. My heritage, my very existence, has never been made public. Okay, so that's why. That's why they didn't know. Gotcha. Why is that? To protect her, I imagine? To avoid national turmoil. Uh, you see, I was born after my uncle, Lord Renning, was named as a successor to the throne. So, oh. Oh, so they'd have to replace him. They kept you a secret to avert a possible blood feud. Yes, I'm willing to accept that for the time being. I see. Very well. Let's suppose that you are truly, uh, that you truly are Princess Crimea. You must know what's become of the king and your uncle. I would like to hear that. Uh, I'd like to hear that news. Okay. M my father and my mother are dead. What? What? <laughs> They fell at the king, uh, the hand of Ashnard, king of Dayan. Wow, that was very fast. My lord, uncle, and the royal knights are still battling the Dayan army, I believe. Okay, <laughs> I thought she was going to continue. I see. I really need to speed up this text feed somehow. I said it was in options, but I don't know where those options are. I fled the castle to follow my lord, uncle's orders and seek refuge in the kingdom of Gallia. Uh, or Gallia. And Gallia? Yes, we believe that King Caneus, Ka Caneus, Caneus. I'm gonna say Caneus would grant me sanctuary, so that's where I was going. But we were discovered by Dayan troops, and I lost my escort of knights. Oh, that's what you were doing in the woods. You were probably hiding. My life, the life I have now, was purchased with the blood of those brave knights. I mean, I guess it was their duty. They thought that was the best thing to do. Does King Dayan know of your existence? Yes. I was told the royals of each nation were informed of my identity in the event of dire circumstances. Oh, okay, that's not very good. Uh, if that's the case, they must be searching frantically for you. Yeah, that means uh, they're going to start killing us then. Uh, Master Grail, my Lord Ike, you said that you were mercenaries, did you not? Uh, please, would you help me to gain Gallia? Oh, okay. I beg of you, I I have no one, no one else to turn to. Um, Grail? Okay, it's nighttime. What's Grail gonna do? 
Ike, Titania, Princess Crimea, truly? Uh, father spoke to her as if he would believe she were telling the truth. I see. Um, what is it, Titania? Hmm, it, it's nothing. I was just remembering something from the past. From the past? Back when you were still a Crimean royal knight? Oh, okay. Uh, what? How do you know about that? Uh, I didn't know about that. <laughs> a long time ago, I overheard Shinon and some others talking about it. Oh, they keep such loose tongues. <laughs> Was it a secret? I mean, if it wasn't, why didn't you just confront her about it earlier? No, it, it wasn't, but much like you, I also I have more experience than you. Um, I also have many more things to worry about. Uh-huh. Like Princess Crimea? I would imagine so. Well, you're an ex one, right? So, well, yes. I myself was unaware of the princess's existence, but... Oh, so she didn't even know. Now that I think about it, she does bear a striking resemblance to both the king and queen. They both have green hair? So she probably is the true princess. I wonder what father will do. Will he take on her request? Uh... Rolf is so small, he's like an eight-year-old. Uh-oh. We've got trouble outside! There are soldiers! A ton of them! Uh-oh. What? Are they- Oh, no. Oh, are they here for Alincia? Is everyone here? Are we gonna get Grail on them? Okay, yes. Shinon, Commander, what are the day and dogs saying? Uh, turn over Princess Crimea and leave the area immediately. Comply now or we will attack. Pretty straightforward. Oh gosh, they know she's here? What are we going to do? That's what we're here to decide. One thing has been made clear by the arrival of our friends outside. Soren, so I would say this confirms her identity as Princess Crimea, wouldn't you? Yes, but what, we, what do we do now? I'd like to hear the opinions of everyone here. Okay, Titania. I'd like to hear from you first. Titania. Uh, the blame for this war rests on Dayan. If we ally ourselves with them, the, uh, the company's reputation will surely suffer. Okay. Conversely, if we deliver Princess Crimea safely, our stock will rise in the eyes of our primary employers. Our road is clear. Soren, how about you? He's going to say the opposite. Uh, there's nothing to think about it. We must deliver the princess to Dayan immediately. Even if Crimea is in the right? We are mercenaries. Our actions are, are dictated only by self-interest. If we want to ensure our future, we need Dayan in our debt. They will, need, they will win this war after all, and nothing else serves us better. I see. Shinon, Gatri. Soren's a pompous superior wealth. But he's got the right idea. Besides, the destination uh, the destination's Gallia, so it's a moot question. I don't care how much we get paid. There's no way under the sun I'm going to stinking beast country. Uh, okay. Princess Alencia, she does not. She does possess a certain regal beauty. <laughs> There's a lot to be said for that, you know. Okay. However. I do prefer country girls. What? That's it? A bit cuter and not quite so standoffish. Oh, forget I said that. Okay, I will, actually. Uh, whenever, whatever you decide is good for me, Commander. Yep. Uh-huh. Yep. Okay, Gatry. Thanks for your input. You can even call it that. Oscar, Boyd, what about the two of you? Okay, knowing them, they'll probably want to protect her. They seem like good souls. Uh, I agree with Captain Titania. Yeah, like I thought. If we turn the princess over to the day and army... We're essentially giving them permission to kill her. Uh, that's probably what they'll do. I'm in favor of helping her! That's what heroes are supposed to do- Yep, I got you guys down, I know. Riss, um... I don't- I feel like he'd want to protect her too. He was the one who found her anyway. Well, Riss, what's your opinion? I believe that none of this hinges on whether she- or none of this hinges on whether she's a princess or not. Uh, refusing to aid someone in need is not something we should ever do. That's what I think. That's right! Let's help her! <laughs> Please, we have to help her! Okay, looks like it's outnumbered. What about you, Ike? Oh, I... I agree with Titania. I say we help her and take her to Gallia. Wow. So it was literally just like Soren and uh, Shinon were like the only two who opposed. 
saying that we should hand her over. I see. I think I know where you all stand. Hmm. Grail. Well then, here's my decision. And Soren comes up. We escort the princess to Gallia. <sighs> yeah, those two aren't over a little upset. Are you sure that's for the best, father? Uh, yes. Besides, I think our the choice has been taken out of our hands. What? What do you mean? Open your ears and listen. Listen, all of you. Okay. Huh? What is it? Uh, I don't hear a thing. <laughs> don't hear the friggin' soldiers outside? Idiot, that's the problem. Don't you think that's a bit odd? Complete silence in all four directions. Uh, yeah, that is weird. Oh, so that's what you're talking about. The lack of sound. Then why would you tell me to listen for it? <laughs> Not only are the animals quiet, but the bugs are silent too. And that is a natural beyond belief. Which means... Which means what? We're surrounded. The soldiers aren't waiting for an answer. They're, they already decided to attack. Gotcha. It would appear they had no intention of keeping their side of the proposed bargain. Wow, you guys are smart. They were planning on lulling us into a false sense of security and destroying every one of us. Gotcha. Probably so. But the deal is, we're not so naive or inexperienced as to fall for their trap. Wow, jeez. Grail's... Grail's on top of things. Everyone, take your positions. We're going to set all this right now. Wow. Counterattack. Oh, no. Is this going to work like Fog of War, but it's darkness? Yo, we get everyone? The whole squad is here. I'll go and hold the rear entrance. Oh, we don't get Grail. Ike, you're in the command here. Don't let the enemy take the front. What? Why is Ike in charge? Got it. Er, be careful, Commander. Wow. <laughs> I'll give it a shot. Jeez. Um, why is Ike in charge, though? Reporting in, sir. The mercenaries have taken up arms and formed up in the Bailey. Uh, Dakova. Oh, so they've sniffed out our plan, have they? Which means they're not an opponent that will be easily fooled. We'll need something special. Uh, shall we continue with the planned attack? No. Princess Crimea is somewhere within that fort. If we use flaming arrows to try and smoke them out, we might bring the princess to harm. So they're not trying to harm her? We've been told to do our best to deliver her alive and uninjured. What? It would be preferable if they were to come out of their own accord. If they if they do, slay all but the princess. Yes, sir. Jeez, okay. Um Well then, this is I never seen this before. So this light, does it kind of act like fog of war? Where we can't tell where the units are until they're right on top of us? They said can't use flaming arrows, but that, that means they probably have archers, so. This is going to be a little bit of a scary chapter, so... Uh... I think I'm going to choose my items and I will be right back. Alright, I think I'm ready with the items. This chapter is called Flight, but I don't see any... Okay, it's kind of a big map, but I don't see any soldiers, obviously, because of the darkness. It's called Flight, though, so will we be running away? I really don't know. Begin now, let's just do it. Let's do it. Okay. <laughs> this is, a. Uh... Very hard to tell what we have to do already. Jeez, six turns defense. It's a defense chapter, okay. Uh, I wish it would've told me that. <gasps> this music, ooh, okay. Um, Well, obviously, they probably don't have any mages, right? When I saw them come in, I didn't see any mages, so I'm gonna assume we're okay. Uh, so Grail's got this side covered, right? Yeah, it's locked. Um, but I'll put like Titania over there, I guess. Or no, I don't. I really don't know what to start off with. Um, probably. No, let's have Ike come up a little bit. We'll put like Sheen on, or who should be in the back? Titania maybe. That way, like it'll never, we'll never lose it because her defense is so high. Gatchet is pretty high too, but I want him to be out on the front lines. I want him to like bait down a ton of people. Go like right there. Okay, there's some soldiers. Yeah, that's exactly what I was expecting. Like, just a whole bunch of soldiers just raid us right away. Um, and there's probably guys from the left, too. There's probably some guys, like, right over here. So, Oscar, your defense is eight. Put you right there. Then, uh, I already moved Ike. Boyd, your defense isn't great. Shinon's is nine. Um, I think we can just, I think we'll just do this for now. Soren, you wait right there. 
I don't know why I moved Rish so far back. I just didn't want him to die instantly. Okay, let's just wait, kind of see what happens here. <sighs> uh, okay. They were far away, but that's an archer. We're all good. Whoa, look at how dark it is. You can barely see. Holy moly. <laughs> Alright, well, Gatry, your job is literally just to tank out these units. Bring them in, bait them in as much as you can. And then all we gotta do is just counterattack. Um, hopefully we can get some EXP uh, for like other characters in this chapter. Um, I did look up Ike's growth. His uh, his strength is a 50% growth rate, so it's literally just been a coin toss, and I've been getting like tails every time. So I don't know. Something about our growth rates are just not working out for us. Um, wow, wow. Maybe I shouldn't have advanced so far. Okay, Oscar, how much damage are you gonna take from this? Five. Okay. That's actually not good if you're gonna get hit by like two archers and a lance guy this turn. Uh, Ike. Okay. Um, this might actually get tough soon. I might have to use everybody. Oh, Ike's taking a lot of damage, but he crits. <gasps> oh, he's using regal sword. That's why. Oh shoot! I didn't mean to be using the regal sword. Okay. Well, that was good anyway because we actually needed to get rid of one of those guys. Weapon level up. Oh shoot! Can you get attacked again? Torch. <gasps> now we can see. Okay, um, but that'll waste somebody's turn. Um, yeah, it will. I can't, because I wanted to heal with Riss. Um, so I can't just go in freely. Uh, these archers are going to be a problem. They really are. Gatry. <laughs> I swear, Gatry. MVP this chapter. He really is. Can you double with steel? He's doubling with the steel lance. Wow. Just goes to show how good Gatry is as a doubling knight. He's gonna be level 20 by the end of this chapter, I swear. Uh, Lance level up, there we go. Give me a break, jeez. Seriously, how many units are there? They are just going ham. Boom. Okay, um, I'm gonna have to use the bulkiest units and just move them all down to stop everybody because this is getting kind of troublesome at the moment. Uh, I might have to move, like, Oscar. Oh my gosh, please. Finally. Oh, maybe I should have stayed back a little bit. Okay, um, Gatry, we gotta close off this hole if we can. Uh, if we go right there, there's only two places, so let's see, Gatry, you can kill this guy. Just don't miss. Please do not miss. Yeah, it's the first time we're actually gonna hear this music this chapter, because, jeez. <laughs> Fog of War, Ah, oh. I should have gone Iron Lance. I should have. Oh, uh, oh my gosh. Hammer? Oh, no, they have a hammer, they can kill Gatry then. Oh no, okay, um, hold on, I'm moving to Tanya. Hold on, no, Ike first. Oh no, Soren, Soren, Soren. Soren's good here. Soren do seven damage, there we go. Okay, um, actually, if I'm correct, I think I saw a spot where there's only one needed to defend. Maybe I can put Titania right there, and then she won't die, because she's Titania. Like, Titania will never die. <laughs> At least I don't think she would. Yeah, one spot. Um, actually, no, never mind. It's the bush. So we need two. Um, Shinon. Maybe Shinon and Titania? Or Shinon and Boyd, maybe? Shinon has, some, has nine defense. He's not, like, a defensive character, but, like, he can take some hits. He's not defenseless. So, he can do something. Gosh, it's just so dark. You can barely see anybody. It's so weird. Gosh, I did not expect to be getting raided this soon. Okay. Um. So, what's what's the other... Uh, what do we else do we have to do? We have to... This side is more troublesome, so we need... Uh, <laughs> um. This really is troublesome. Let's see. Oscar... Uh, I just don't know. I don't know. Boyd, what are you? Hand axe, not enough to kill. You can probably kill this guy. But we need like to, we need Titania in two places. Really. Because if we kill this soldier, we just have to move somebody right here and then we're okay. But I think it's literally just because Gatry missed. Then I could have had Sauron kill like this kid and it would have been easy. Um, gosh. Oh, I can't even, I can't even move. I can't even move because this guy, if I move to Tanya, 
then we're dead. We lose. Oh my gosh. I think I might have went a little too ham on this chapter. And that might be my death. Because I... Can I kill this guy? I don't think I can. Not with anybody here. Well, hold on. We also... Titania can also hit and run. Let's remember that. Okay, I think I found what we can do. Ike? Oh my... Oh my goodness. Steel sword? Uh, we have to... I think we're gonna have to use regal sword here. Again. We have to. It's the only way we can kill this guy, because he's so... Well, hold on. He'll only get attacked by... No, Ike will get attacked by two people. If he sits right here. So this person, whoever goes right there, needs to get attacked by two people. Only Boyd can handle that. Ike cannot. He's way too weak right now. Um, Titania, I think I'm going to have you kill this kid right here. Yeah, go ahead. And then she'll move forward. We need to have Titania and um, frickin... Uh, gosh, I forgot his name. Gatry. <laughs> we have Titania and Gatry take like the biggest wall positions. Because they are the most defensive units. So if we put her right here after Kanto, boom, all these guys are locked in a certain spot. Now we can move Oscar. That's the good thing. Can you kill Oscar? No, you can't. Uh, no, you can't. Um, let's have uh, Boyd. Um, okay, hold on. You have 7 speed, 16 attack, versus 22... Okay, um... Here's what we can do. He'll probably go after Riss. So, if he goes after Riss, he can't take the spot. So, I can come down here with the Regal Sword, unfortunately. Oh, this is just so bad, because if, if there's one archer, Ike's dead. He will be dead. Which is why I want to use, like, Oscar or Boyd. Or actually, here we go. I think I got this. Have Boyd kill this guy. 100%. There we go, because Weapon Triangle. Then we heal up Oscar. Then Oscar comes over, blocks the, uh... Well, Oscar would also get attacked by two axe users, potentially. And then even an archer. So he might die, too. But honestly, he has a better chance than Ike. He has a better chance of living than Ike. So, I think we're good. Oscar, I'm gonna heal you up. This guy, uh, like, now, now Ike has to move back. He has to. 100% has to. Um, go back and heal. Don't use that torch just yet. Wow, torches are five uses in this game. Okay, that's nice. Um, he'll probably go after Ike. Maybe. Then I just put you right here, Oscar. Now please, please hang in there. Actually, let's just check. Let's check to see how much you do to these axe guys. Or rather, how much they do to you. 12. Oh, that's not good. That is not good. Do you have like a javelin or something? That'd be horrible. Okay, as long as there's no archers over here, we're okay. As long as there's no archers. Please don't let there be any archers or else Oscar's dead. Please. Oscar, come on. Oh, they went after Sheenon? Why? With the ha with the hammer? Okay. Um, we gotta get rid of that hammer guy too. Um, thank goodness he can't kill Gatry. Yeah, he's going after Riss. He can't double. Riss, you can take one hit. That is it. <laughs> if you get hit again, you are dead. So we need to kill this lance. You need to kill this lance user this turn. Okay, Oscar. Come on. Don't take this much damage. Oh, that looks so bad. When I saw him critting, I was like, "Don't crit and kill, please, please get some defense." Come on, Oscar. Defense, 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 defense. Oh my gosh, what is it with with these guys getting in magic? Is six strength just what I have to deal with this whole time? <laughs> Gatry and Titania are literally, like, doing their best. Honestly, I should just skip these, because we already know it's going to... Oh, I can't even skip it. What the heck? Why can't they skip it? Okay, whatever. It's good. I thought I could just skip through these if I didn't want to look at them, but okay. Guess not. Um, we just have to watch everyone just getting beat up by these archers and taking no damage. But okay, that's fine. I can strategize for my next move. Because, uh, honestly, my next move is... What is my next move? We have to kill the Lance guy in the back, because he's the one guy who got past our wall forces. Got your hit. Thank you. Jeez, he literally is the MVP. He is. The worst part is I don't even know where the boss is, because where the boss is is, like, super important. Get some speed again, I swear. This dude, I swear. 
Gatry's getting like the best level ups, and everyone else is getting trash level ups. Oh gosh. <laughs> going after Titania. I, I, I don't exactly like you going after Titania because then she gets all the EXP. I was kind of hoping you go after Gatry, but you know what? Titania can literally tank hits for days. So she's fine. Gosh, she's about to. She's gonna level up at this rate. <laughs> I do really like this mix of characters, though. We have a mix of, like, 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 Jagan units and units that we actually can use that are viable. I kind of like that. It's a very interesting, because like, usually in most Fire Emblem games, you only have, like, one Jagan unit. And that's to help you get through, like, the super strong guys at the beginning of the chapter. But now we have, like, three Jagans. We have, like, Titania, Shinon. I think those are the only two. But, like, I don't know, I don't really count Gatry as one, because he's he's a knight. He can still level up to, like, a great knight or whatever. Okay. Um, gotta focus this chapter. So, what can we do? Shinon. You can't hit anybody, can you? Besides that guy? We gotta think about this. Um, these two literally can't move. They are stuck there. Well, actually, Titania can. Actually, you know what? I think I might just have Titania kill this guy in the back. Uh, well, maybe. Let's see. Ike... You won't do any damage to him because you're Ike. Boyd. I kind of want Boyd to take Oscar's spot, honestly. Oscar could come up here, do some damage to you. Uh, he'll do eight damage to me, no chance to crit. Oscar will get low, but we'll be fine. Then I can move Boyd down in place of where Oscar was because Boyd, he's not exactly defensive, but he has more HP. He's got 33 HP compared to uh, Oscar, and he also wins in the weapon triangle, so they don't add on one more damage. So, um, Boyd, you'll take how much? Oh. Uh, 13? That's not great. But you know what? This is actually kind of nice. I wish I could kill you. Oh, that'd be so good if I could. Um, I wish I could actually kill you. That would be really cool. Is this worth it? 13. Then... Another 13. That would leave me at, what, seven? Uh, let's see. How much damage would I take? They have 19 attack versus 14. 14, and then losing weapon triangle, so you'll have 13. 13 minus six is seven. Are you serious? We die? If we get hit by both? If we don't dodge anything, we die. Okay, um, well, maybe we can do something fancy here. Um... I might just have to use Titania to take this guy out. Actually, what does Soren say? Soren, can you kill? He can. Oh, he doubles. Thank goodness. Okay, I'll put you next to Ike because you are best pals with him, as you already know. All right, Soren. I can barely even see you, but you know what? Go in, friend. Boom. One more. Boom. Wind it up. Now, please. Can you level up? Soren's magic growth, I think, was 60, and he didn't get it last time, or like the previous two times. So, like... Uh, something about my offensive growths are just trash. Okay, so Ike. Ike, that's right. We can move as Ike now. Um, that doesn't matter in the, in the current scenario, though. So now, as long as there's no archers, I can go up and heal Boyd. Right? Um, I should take out this archer with Titania. Honestly, I just want to get him out of the way. Because I can Kanto right on back. That's the good thing. Um, honestly, Kanto is so good. I love Kanto. The Kanto thing being, that's just what they call it in three houses, but um, it's the its the ability where um, horses can move, like horse units can move back. I think they might have it here. Knight. Did they even say it? Can I like look at it? No? Okay, I can't like look at the details apparently. Oh, counter. What? Oh. So, they have like little skills, I see. I didn't know that. Uh huh. Okay. Well, anyway, um, let's put Boyd down over here. Pray that there is no archer, and then we can heal him up. If he get, if he even gets hit, he might even dodge. Come on, dodge. Boyd, my pal. I dodged. Are you proud of me? Yes, I am. I am so proud of you, Boyd. Gosh, <laughs> I was worried there for a second. I was like, "Where's the exp? Are you just not gonna get any?" Okay, now. Now Ike has a torch, so he can come on down here, and we can check what the heck out is over here. Torch time! And it changes nothing. Are you serious? That didn't do anything? We can't see anything? Okay, well, 
Uh, I think that means we're safe to put Boyd down over here. Or put Riss down over here. Because he needs to get to... Oh, that's right. He can't even heal. No one took any damage. Uh, Oscar. Oscar needs healing. For sure. Heal up, Oscar. There you go. Are you back to full? Yes, you are. Wow. Heal does a lot. Is it... Is it based on magic in this game? Okay, not a great level, but you know what? HP is always good. You can always live in another attack. Um, heal. It uses 10 HP plus the wielder's magic converted to HP. Okay, so 10 plus 12. You always heal 22. Okay, that's cool. It's a little, it works a little different in this game. I'm trying to, like, figure out everything. That's why I'm going at a slow place place slow pace because I'm trying to still figure out all the uh, ins and outs of this game okay Shinon's actually taking a lot of damage this is not good if he gets attacked by an archer which he can um he could be in danger I don't think he will be in danger but he could be in some serious danger here soon um which is why we gotta have Risk go on down and heal him boy dodged again wow I didn't even like talk about it but he dodged again my goodness Okay, they're not bothering going after Sheenon. They're like, oh, I want to do zero damage right now. Watch this. Are you proud of me, boss? He didn't. I didn't even hit it. <laughs> he could dodge in the dark. Jeez, Gatry. Uh, oh, come on, you. What are you doing? All right, Titania, you can take this one out for sure. The good thing is, now that we've broken through the wall, we can... Uh, I thought that was a crit for a second. I was like, are you seriously critting Titania of all people? Dude, step off. Also, that's a sword knight, it looks like. Because they're actually attacking with swords. Because it's very odd. In this game, there seems to be... Oh, come on. We have a javelin. Oh, come on. I wanted to break through the defenses. Whatever. We can have Gatry take you out. Yeah, we can still. Never mind. Unless... Oh, wait. Can you crit this guy? Or not crit. Can you double him? I think we doubled this guy last time. Or these types of units last time. Come on, Gatry. Boom. You double? He's doubling. Boom. Gosh, Gatry just shakes the entire screen. I love it. I love it, Gatry. Keep doing what you're doing, my friend. Oh my gosh. Where? How are there so many? They just don't stop coming. The worst part is like I can't even see where they end. Boom, boom. Yeah, we already know. We already know. Uh, if there's no more archers, I'll send like Oscar down there or something. I could in place of Titania. Stop! Jeez, how many are there? Give it a break. Seriously. Freaking Dane soldiers just sending in like every last one of their guys. They're all like level two. And just... Gatry is... He's just hogging all the EXP. You know what I ought to do? Uh-oh. What was that? That was something. That was something weird. Um. But you know what I ought to do? I ought to... Uh, I ought to unequip the weapon if I can. And then, like, just have him wall. That way I can have other people get the EXP. That's actually a really interesting idea. I should do that. Um, let's see. So, like, she not need some HP. Uh, let's have him go, like, right here. Do, don't crit. Please, do not crit. Yeah, I'll never counterattack with that hammer, dude. Don't crit. Thank you. Okay. Now, I think Soren can get this kill. Um, then hopefully he can level up and actually get some magic, please. Soren, what are you thinking? Talk to me, my friend. You want to level up from this? And do you want to get some magic? Destroy this hammer guy. That way uh, we know that we'll be in no more danger with Gatchery. And a second time. Soren's speed growth is actually really high, too, which is good. So he'll be doubling with, like, low, uh, low magic pretty well. Okay, please. Please, please, please. Magic, 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 please. I beg of you, please. Defense? Your defense growth was like 15. What are you doing? You and Ike are so stupid. Honestly. You're the two stupidest units I've ever seen. You guys just don't want to attack. Look. Look at this. Two damage. Two. Two damage. Why? Like, it, Ike's a speed is really nice, but like, it's not going to matter because, um... Thank you for the uh, comment, by the way. I did get, uh, I did figure out how to calculate attack speed. It's like, if I remember off the top of my head, it was, um, it's speed, um, minus attack, minus weight, I think. So Ike's attack speed would be, let's see, uh, or you do attack minus, uh, weight. So 
Uh, my attack is 11, and my weight is 9, so attack minus 2, so my attack speed is 10, pretty much. And you need 4 to double people, so that's why I am doubling this person? Okay, maybe I did get this wrong. Oh, wait. Wait, what? Okay, let's just do it, Ike. I don't know. Um, I thought it was attack. I thought it was strength minus weight. That way it'd be two. And then you take speed minus whatever that was. But then there's like also weapon triangle, maybe? I don't know. Ike's doubling. <laughs> oh, wait, because I, I just looked at their speed. I didn't look at their attack speed. Okay, that's why I doubled. Gotcha. Um, I wish it would calculate attack speed for me. <laughs> um... It'd be a little time saver. Okay. Um, Ike, your EXP is 58. I want to get you to level up if, if I can later. Um, I'm going to have you... Uh, should I have you attack? Oscar? Come on down. Uh, Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead, Oscar. I think we'll be okay. The Javeliner. Yeah, we'll be okay. We'll be okay. I'm not, I don't want to worry too much. Did I unequip Gatry's weapons yet? I think I did. I only do that because I want to, uh... I think I already mentioned this, but, like, if they hit Gatry, they won't counterattack. Then we can bring, like, Soren from behind and just get a ton of kills. Uh, I'm gonna move Titania back, like, right here. Just in case there's, like, some secret thing that's gonna happen from the right. Which, I honestly, I wouldn't put it past this chapter right now. Um... What's going on? Oh, that's an archer. I couldn't tell that was even an archer. Okay. Oscar, yeah, you take that damage. It's fine. We're all good. You're disappearing into the night. This guy's coming up. Another one's coming up. Uh, actually, if we block... Was that a one spot or a two spot? I couldn't tell. If it is, um, we could totally... Uh, um, he gets EXP from that too. That's nice. Uh, we could totally just block it off with one person. Probably Boyd. Okay, someone's down there. I think the boss might be down there. No, it's a two spot. Yeah, it's two. Okay. Um, let's see. Boyd... Boyd and I can probably take out the archer, right? I come on, come on, right? Yeah, there you go. We got this, Boyd. Go on in. Uh, whoa, you double that guy? Ooh, you know, I think I like this better. Boyd doubles, Soren kills. Ike comes down, and hits the archer. Wow, Boyd. Wow, speedy. Oh, cause he's a steel lance user. That's why. Dodge. Yeah, weapon triangle. Okay, maybe I do want to use some accuracy. Boyd, watch, he's gonna get strength. I guarantee he's gonna get strength. Okay, never mind. Guess none of my units ever want to do any damage this run. I, if I swear, if I lose this, if I like just can't win this run because I like just can't do enough damage, I'm gonna scream. Like if I'm just gonna have to end up using Titania the whole time, get to like level 20, see if she's even still viable. And are there have there ever been a Jagan unit that's like actually useful by the end game? Because most of the time, they're really good early game. That's the whole thing about Jagans, for those of you who don't know. Uh, Jagan units, they call, they're call they called Jagans because they're, like, already an advanced class from the start. And the very first one in Shadow Dragon was called, his name was Jagan. So they just, everyone refers to them as a Jagan unit. But, um, uh, pretty much if you have a Jagan unit, most of the time they're really powerful early game. But by the end, they're really bad. Because their base stats, when you get them, are super high. But by the end, they only have 20 levels to level up instead of 40. So they aren't exactly, uh, they're outclassed pretty much by all your weaker units because they get like much better growth rates, uh, much better, uh, pretty much much better everything. So that's why everyone likes to use them more. Uh, or everyone likes to use the, uh, the weaker units at the beginning and then only have the strong units come in and like during a pinch time. That's why I haven't been using like Shinon or Titania that much because I'm really scared that, that if I use them, and they steal all the EXP, that they won't be useful by the end. That's what I'm really scared about. Thank you for dodging, Oscar. That was pretty cool. Um, so we're only defending for six turns, right? Is that it? Or should we start advancing in to see if we can steal some more EXP? Because this is turn five. Like, uh, this is it. Uh, one more turn and we got it. Right? Yeah, there's just a good amount of units on this, I guess. Maybe they're... They're not endless, no. They do just have a ton... They probably just have a ton in the back. Oh, shoot. Weapon triangle disadvantage. Don't double. Okay, we're good. Wow. You took nine damage from that. That's actually kind of scary. Uh, Kanto, whatever. That's fine. Um, Oscar. Steel bow. I didn't even notice he had a steel bow. Okay. Is there anyone else who wants to come up? 
Anybody else? You again. Okay. Archer going for Ike. Interesting. Um, well, Ike can finish you off after this turn. Okay. Then we can probably have Boyd and Soren take out the... Oh, no, we can't because that guy's a sword. Okay, another one. Oh, Soren, look out. Careful. Careful, Soren. Come on. Don't, don't do anything crazy. Can you double and kill? That'd be so cool. No, you're only doing six. Yep. As I thought. Okay. We can take out both archers? Yeah, we can take out both archers. We got this. Um. Jeez. Oh my goodness. Maybe not. Holy moly. The left side's actually getting kind of scary right now. Actually, it's kind of terrifying right now. <laughs> uh, we're going to need to move some units over. For sure. Maybe Sheenon or something? Okay. Um. Let's think. Let us think. Um. Both of these guys are low. We can have Ike and Soren take those two out. Boyd. Oh, okay. I think we got this. Boyd takes this guy out. Uh, takes eight damage. Uh, hold on. What's Ike at? 16. Both these guys need a heal. 12. 3. You'll do nine damage to Soren. Soren will be super low after this. So if there's another archer in the back, he's dead. We've. This is our last turn. I really don't want to mess things up now. Um, okay, uh, let's see, Gatchery, I'm gonna have you just come right here, wipe this guy out in one shot, let's, let's just work on the right side first, if we really need to, we can move like Titania down or something, but I really don't want to have to, if I don't have to, okay, that guy's gone, don't need to worry about the archer coming in and killing anybody, then we can have Oscar come down, um, honestly, should we, he has 22, no, two, two hits will not be able to do, uh, be 18 damage. Okay, I'll just let him wait. I'll have him wait. Sheenon, I really don't want to have to attack you if I don't have to. Um, I think the play here is Boyd attacks, takes the damage, unfortunately. Ike comes in, kills the soldier. Then Soren comes in, kills you. Then Titania? Uh, Titania can come right where Boyd is. So maybe we can change something up? Somehow? Uh, if only I could take you out with Soren, that'd be so nice. Um, okay. Boyd. Can you kill? With steel? Ugh, just barely, not enough. Um. Maybe I can go out. Actually, hold on, what if we... If I go you... Does Nani should also be able to move where Ike is, right? But Ike moving out on the front lines is scary because I don't know who else is over here. Well, actually, no. There shouldn't be anyone else over here. Right? Uh, it's just so hard to tell. Okay. Um, this is really rough. I just it, the, the problem is I just can't guarantee Soren's safety. Or Ike's for that matter. You know what? I'm just going to go for it. Come on, Soren. Hang in there. Yay! Okay. Um. So. Uh, this is just. This is tough. This is tough. Because I just don't know where to move people in, like, the right places. Because I can move. I move Ike up here, right? But then will he be in danger? And then when I move Boyd right here, will he. Will Boyd himself be in danger? Because if there's more Kanto guys over here, because like there could be some hiding up here, there could be some hiding down over here that we just can't see. So like, oh, wait, 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 wait. Can I? Okay, hold on. Let's have Boyd take this guy out. I think he's gonna have to take him out regardless, right? He took nine damage from that soldier. Ah, uh, I wish I could move right here. If I could move right there, I'd be so good. This is troublesome. I'm. I think I don't, I don't want to risk it. I think I'm gonna use Titania. Cause I just I'm just too scared. If there's more people over there, I can't. I just don't, I have no way of knowing. I mean, I can hand axe just to get give him some exp, but like I just have no way of knowing if there's people over there. If it wasn't if it wasn't a freaking darkness chapter, I would have totally gone in easily. Hundred percent would have gone in, but um, because that this is not. Because I can't see if there's any units over there, I have to go to Tanya. 
But Soren would still be in danger, though. Ah, that means I can't heal Ike. Okay. Okay. <sighs> I don't like heal. I don't have. I don't like having to give Titania EXP. Okay, Ike. Unfortunately, I cannot heal you. I just gotta pray. I have to pray that there's no freaking. I'm not gonna get Kanto to death. Because they just like keep hitting and running. That's so bad for me. Honestly, like they they can be super scary. If they have high attack. Come on, Ike. I really wish you could level up one more time. Six turns defense. Now. Put Sheenon out. No, Sheenon's at low. No, I have to heal Soren, no matter what. Gotta heal Soren, because if an archer comes out from behind, he's dead. Soren will die. Ike can live stuff if he dodges or whatever, but Soren is like the one person who will die, no matter what. Um, is it even worth to use a torch? It doesn't matter, because whatever's gonna happen this turn happens anyway. So, might as well not waste it. I'll put Sheen on here, just to maybe bait out an attack. Let's just wait. We got it. Come on. Tell me we got it. Ike, come on, please. Please, Ike. Please. Hang in there. Oh, don't scare me like that. I thought you were critting. Oh my gosh. Ike, level up. Get strength, please. Please, it's a coin flip. Get heads. Coin flip heads. Coin flip heads. Finally! Oh my gosh. That was actually a really good level up. Finally. Oh my gosh. Was that it? Was it really just that one guy left? Was I really worrying about everything for nothing? I think I was. I think I worried way too much for no reason. Are we okay? Okay, this could be bad. If a whole bunch of Lance users comes up here, Oscar could be in danger. Oscar? Oscar, please, don't die on me now. Not now, Oscar, not now. Please, it's the last turn. Don't die on me. Oscar, please, please, Oscar, don't. This is the last turn. Don't die on me, please. Oscar, please. Please. If there's one more guy, he's dead. He's dead. Really? Really? Dodge, please. I'm begging you, dodge. I have to restart the chapter. Oh my gosh! On the last turn? Are you serious? Ugh. I hate Fog of War. Oh, okay. Well, I'm back. What's going on? Weren't they supposed to be completely surrounded? Uh... Yeah, so, I guess I'm back. Uh, this time I didn't even counter this guy last time. I guess we've just been defending better. Uh, actually, everything about that reset was worse. I'm not even joking. First of all, there's like a million units down here, by the way. I don't know if I failed to mention that. There's like a million units down here. Oh my gosh, it's kind of critting, wow. Yeah, she's done with this chapter as I am. This chapter is so dumb. You can't see any of the units, and there's like 500 of them. There's so many. Iron Blade, oh cool, I'm glad I got that. Oh shoot, it's over? Grr. How they've lasted this long. Just who are these mercenaries? Yeah. Oh my goodness. <sighs> this chapter is stupid. And guess what? Uh, because I reset, my grow my uh, level ups also reset. And guess who didn't get strength this time and got magic this time? Good old Ike. He has four magic and six strength. Oh, I love him. I love Ike, dude. He's so cool. Knowing your enemy's strength is vital to any strategy. Soldiers, retreat. We'll fall back for now. Okay. Gosh. There better be like a magic sword in this game. My freaking sword is so bad. Uh, we've cleared the surrounding area of Dayan troops. Uh, there's no question about it. We're enemies of the Dayan kingdom now, aren't we? Yeah, I mean, they attacked us. We've no time for rest. Everyone, pack your things now. We leave at once before the enemy brings reinforcements. Understood. Boyd, come with me. Okay, where are they gonna go? Right behind you, brother! Okay, where are we gonna go, though? Ah, we've got to hurry, too! Come on, Rolf! We've got to pack as much food and supplies as we can! Uh, whatever you say! Let's go, miss! <laughs> Guys, they're so small! Titania, take Sheenon and Gatry and make sure we have a secure road from here to the Great Forest. Yeah, I guess Grail, Titania, Sheenon, and Gatry are like the strongest members of the Grail mercenaries. Uh, we'll make our way to Gallia through the Sea of Trees. Got it. On my way, sir. Uh, Riss, you stay with me. I want you to help me pull essential documents from the library. Uh, everything else we burn. Burn? Uh, yes, sir. Wow. Ike, you're in charge of the princess. Okay. All right. Wow. Princess Alencia, I'm going to be, uh, I'm going to ready a horse for you. What should we have you or what should we have you do? I know. Go to the mess hall. 
Uh, I'm sorry? Uh, time will go by faster if you're helping Mist than it will if you're just sitting around waiting for me. Okay. Oh, uh, I understand. I can do that. <laughs> wow, Ike ordering around a princess? <laughs> uh, sorry, this is kind of awkward. Making a princess help with packing? Yeah, I was, <laughs> that was just what I was thinking, Mist. Uh, please, don't worry, Mist. I just hope that I don't end up slowing you down by getting in your way, just like this tech speed. <laughs> don't be silly. You're so much better at this than I am. It's a big help. Are you, are all princesses as good as this sort of thing as you are? Uh, good at this thing as sort of as you are? Uh, <laughs> I wasn't raised at court, so my life was a bit different than other princesses. Gotcha. I cooked, cleaned, sewed. Why, I did all manner of things. Okay, that's right, because she couldn't have any people know about her. So she had to do stuff by herself. Uh, really? That's surprising. I never would have guessed that, uh, by, or never would have guessed that by looking at you. Uh, let's see. I also rode horses, practiced sword, or practiced sword fighting, really. Ah, missed. Uh, what's that around your neck? Uh, let me guess. It's a necklace from her mom. What? Oh, uh, uh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. Uh, I guess I can show it to you, Princess Alencia. Um,. Whoa, okay, what? That is a very... Is, is that it? Uh, uh, oh, yeah, that's my reaction. It's a lovely... That's an incredible medallion, isn't it? Uh, I wonder what that light is. I swear I'm giving these two the same voice. <laughs> it used to belong to my mother. It's all I have to remember her by. Hmm, I don't know where the light comes from. Uh, it, it didn't used to be like that. A while back, it just started glowing. Interesting. The world is full of mysteries, isn't it? One thing is clear, though. It's clear. It certainly is beautiful. Uh, I wonder what that light means. I wonder too. Oh my gosh! What's going on, Patrine? What? What did you just say? I think I must be hearing things. I thought you said they got away. <laughs> General Patrine, I am deeply ashamed by my honor. <laughs> honor? I care nothing for your pathetic honor. <laughs> Have you forgotten the day in Army's motto? Success or failure, life or death. Hey you, get this trash out of here. Wow. Yes ma'am, move it, you! Wow, a little grunt. <laughs> Wait, General Patrine, have mercy! Doc's breath. I'm surrounded by worthless imbeciles. Ina. Oh, who's that? Uh, tell me which. Uh, tell me which way we should move to catch these mercenaries and the girl. Uh, the Crimean capital, Melior, is already under King Ashnard's control. The remnants of the Crimean army are ne uh, negligible, 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 <laughs> which means the only place left for the princess to turn is south to the kingdom of Gallia. Wow, so they already, they got some, uh, intelligence on their side. Ha! <laughs> so the girl, like her dead father before her, seeks the friendship of those hairy devils, eh? Ugh, what an absolutely stupefying world we live in. If she gains sanctuary in Gallia, capturing the princess will become that much more difficult. Uh, the mercenaries she has escorting, or the mercenaries she has escorting her are a powerful group, not one to be taken lightly. How do you know that? I will gather intelligence on them as quickly as... It's not necessary. I will head up to the pursuit of our wandering princess. Wow, Patrine herself? Whoever that is, just a general, I guess? General Patrine, you're going yourself? Uh, if we know where the princess and her band are headed, there's no need for subtlety. I'll just hunt them down and kill them. Mercenaries? Ha! <laughs> what are they to me? Remember, I am General Patrine! No matter who I face, I have never failed, nor will I ever. <laughs> Yikes. Okay, we got an enemy here coming up. Oh. Okay, this is new. Nice candle. Map. What is happening here? The continent of Tellius. Blessed by the goddess. To the northwest lies the land of Crimea. Home of the Grail mercenaries. I see. Uh... I kind of has to make me press A now. I mean, I always had to press A. Crimea. Uh, without warning, 
Crimea's eastern neighbor, the Kingdom of Dayan, launches an attack on Crimea's capital city of Meliar. Yeah, and like that just that's it. They just they just took it instantly. They didn't have to go through anything. They just took it. Okay, and then what else is here? Yeah, obviously we know. Yes. I know. Lines. <laughs> uh, Ike leads Ike. Okay. Ike leads a handful of mercies to Meliar to confirm Soren's news of the attack. Uh, so we're going straight there. En route, they, uh, ha they happen upon a young woman, unconscious but unharmed. Fearing for her safety, they take her to the strong to their stronghold. Is this the Peggy Knight lady, or is this is just talking about Alincia? Oh, this is a recap. Okay. When she awakens, the woman gives her name as Alincia and lays claim to the, the title of the Princess of Crimea. She relates the sad tale of her flight from, the crim from Crimea and of her parents' murder at the hands of Ashnard, King of Dan. Okay, so that's why it's called Flight, is because Alincia ran away. Gotcha. The chapter was called Flight. Uh, the Grail mercenaries answer Princess Alincia's plea for help and agree to escort her to the Kingdom of Gallia. All right. Um, this is just like a nice little recap of what we already saw. Okay, geez, there's actually a lot more uh, territories that we're not even like really looking at. Uh, located to the southwest of Crimea, Gallia is home to Lagaz. Laguz? Is that an L or a? I think it's it's, it's, I think it's an L. Laguz. I'm just calling Laguz for now. A race quite unlike Ike and his fellow Bjork. Bjork. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, it's right. Crimea and Gallia have long struggled to overcome their differences. I see. In recent years, the two kingdoms have done much to ease the prejud prejudice between the Laguz and the Bjork factions. I'm going to have to look up how to pronounce these things because I don't know how. <laughs> their com the combined efforts have forged a bond of trust and friendship that may yet overcome years of intolerance. I see. Um... Ike and company escape the Dayan army, abandoning their longtime base from there, and begin the long march toward Gallia. It's quite interesting how many, how few mercenaries they have. <laughs> their task clear and their destination far, they slip into an ocean of trees. Oh, they said they went to like the deep forest or something? Yeah, the deep forest. Okay, I guess we're already there? We didn't even have to go through the deep forest at all? Maybe? A brief diversion. Okay. So, is this a filler chapter? <laughs> is, that, is that what I'm hearing? Blazes. Why does it have to be so bl blamed humid? If we weren't being chased, I'd strip off this armor here and now. Uh, then I'm almost glad that we are being pursued. I suppose... <laughs> I suppose you'll have to grin and bear it, won't you? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Look at his freaking eyes! I suppose I will. Right, so enough of your griping. You're merely wasting energy. Still, this heat is appalling. Yeah, you're right. Dense forests such as these are not made for us delicate humans. The subhumans love them, though. Subhumans? You're talking about the Gallia people. These subhumans, are they really so different from us? What? You mean to tell me you've never seen a beast man before? No, never. I've literally been living in a shack for 16 years. Well, I have. They're a hairy bunch, I'll tell you. Okay, and ugly as sin, too. Their faces and are fangs and whisker. Their claws are like daggers, razor sharp and deadly. Okay, enough metaphors. And even though they can speak our language, they're beasts through and through. Savages, every one. Are you sure about that? Are there more than one type? Yeah, what, how does this... The one Shinan calls subhumans can be divided into three groups, each one named for its physical characteristics. Okay? First, the beast tribe. Next, the bird tribe. And finally, the dragon tribe. They are traditionally called Lagoos. Okay. The Lagoos tribe residing here in Gallia is the beast tribe who possesses those f feline, feline qualities of which Shinon spoke. Jeez. <laughs> to the south are the islands where the birdmen live. Uh, I swear I read that as birdie, but birdmen live. The dragons are in Galdia, Galdol, Galdo, Goldoa, Goldoa. <laughs> they keep throwing out all these new names. It's something every mercenary should know. 
Uh, yeah, except you've been living in a shack, so that's right. So, uh, looks like you even know less than I gave you credit for, Ike. My boy. My boy. Hmm. Perhaps. <laughs> he just doesn't even care. A little farther, and we'll be out of these trees, Ike. Uh, really? That means Gallia pro- that means Gallia proper. Compared to this forest, even a kingdom of half beasts would seem like heaven. Jeez. Oh my gosh. And that's when we lost track of them. I assigned a squad to pursue them, and I return- and return so I give you this report. Understood. You may step down. So, Princess Alincia is making her way through the forest to Gallia. Ah, uh, Ina! It appears your advice was sound. Well done. You have earned my praise. Thank you. When the king assigned me a tactician, I wondered what I had done to lose his trust when I saw it was a young girl. I burned with anger at the king's judgment. Still, it worked out better than I had expected. Keep up the good work. I see. Of course. Now then, it's time for the hunt to begin. Oh boy. Yeah, I, can, I think I know what our brief uh, intermission's gonna be. Hold it right there, everyone. We're coming to the edge of the forest. The edge of Zon. Form up combat positions. Okay. I don't suppose our Dayan pursuers were willing to let us just slip away. Uh, there is no doubt that they will attack again. Without knowing their numbers, it is difficult to advise a course of action. Uh, take your best guess, Soren. With the limited information we have, what is the best way to proceed? Okay. Uh, some of our group cannot fight. If we are caught, we'll have a difficult time defending them and attacking the Dayans. I mean, Alincia and Riss, is that it? Oh, and Mist and Rolf, duh. Uh, I propose we separate into two groups, a small fighting force to engage the enemy and buy time, or and buy the main group some time, and the rest of us, who will escort the princess to Gallia at full speed. You want to divide our combat strength? The main force aside, don't you think the risk to the smaller group is too high? Uh, I believe this is the only way to achieve our goal, and keep casuals, ch casualties to a minimum. Uh, it's, po it's possible there's an ambush waiting for us at the edge of the forest. If we proceed with no plan, we may be caught up between the pursuit and the ambush, which would be the end of us all. I see. Looks like we've got no choice but to give it a go. Wow, Grail, you don't really come up with strategies yourself. You kind of just take input from other people. All right, let's split up. A diversionary team will be Gatry, Shinon, and me. I see. The rest of you will guard Princess Alencia and proceed to the Gal to Gallia straight away. Got it? Okay, so they took all the Jagans away. Nice. <laughs> Are you sure you're taking enough men? Idiot pop. Smaller numbers mean better mobility. Your time would be better spent worrying about yourself than about us. Hmm. <laughs> Listen up. This will probably prove to be the biggest fight of this company's ever faced. Remember, you've got only one life. I don't want any of you to die on me. Yeah, I haven't hit the reset button for sure, Mr. Grail. <laughs> uh, in times like these, it matters not what our blood ties are. We are family. Aww. If you don't want to cause your family any grief, then live. Aww, that's so nice. Ike will be commanding the main force. Titania, you're his support. All right, let's move out. Okay, so Titania is with me? I thought Titania was going with Grail. Okay, whatever. See you all in Gallia. Then who who was going with Grail again? It was Grail, Titania. I thought Grail, Shinon, and somebody? They didn't take away Gatry, did they? I'm gonna need Gatry for this chapter. Oh my gosh. I can't do this chapter without Gatry. <laughs> oh no. There is an ambush. So they're waiting for us after all. Yeah. There, there are more of them than I than more of them than I'd imagine there would be. Jeez, Ike, I'm slipping up more than your cringy voice. Uh, I thought they would have been spread out across the forest border. I didn't expect to see so many in one place. Do we rethink our strategy? Uh, no. We've already split up. It's too late to re reconsider now. Isn't there some way we can at least get the princess, Mist, and Rolf to the far shore safely? G gosh, they're they're with us. They're in the back. There are two bridges. This thicket extends to the edge of the westernmost bridge. Uh, if we can use the trees as cover, we might be able to reach the bridge undetected. Uh, from there, we can launch a surprise attack. 
Uh, we'll be creating a diversion, right? Uh, correct. Uh, while we keep the enemy's attention, the princess and the others can cross the bridge to safety. We've got no time for discussion. That's the plan we'll go with. My lord Ike, I... I will fight with you. What? No, you won't. <laughs> I will fight with you. No. <laughs> My lord? <laughs> I cannot let you expose yourself to danger of any kind. Yeah, because that's actually true. If they see her, they're all going to dogpile her. Uh, everyone here is risking his life to ensure your safety. Uh, if you understand that, you'll cooperate and do as I ask. Wow, okay, Ike. I see. I I will do my part. Hmm. <laughs> it's settled then. Right. Let's break through their lines. <laughs> Mist, Rolf, take care of the princess. Do not let yourselves be seen. Uh, right. Be careful, everyone. Uh, leave it to us, Ike. We'll just pretend it's a game of hide and seek, and I never lose at hide and seek. Okay. Uh... Do I actually have to control them, or... Okay, I guess not. Everyone ready? Let's go! Okay. Okay, good. I don't actually have to control them. I was worried that I would have to be the one controlling them. Oh, thank goodness. Okay. Yeah. Um... Okay, so this is definitely a scary chapter. Uh, we'll be doing this in the next episode, though. We are going to have to go up against Emil. Or Emil? Who's a halberder? Ooh. Interesting. Um... What units do we have, though? Uh, we'll, we'll check out what units we even have just to do this chapter. Oh my gosh. We don't have Gatry. It's over. We're done. Sorry, everybody. I don't know. I, this might be the end of the round. I'm not even joking. Oscar is going to have to be our tank. Without Gatry? Oh my gosh. Okay, well, the next episode is going to be a juicy one because I have no idea how we're going to do it. With, with no, no, We're going to have to use Tanya. We're going to have to use her. <laughs> Ike has no. Ike's level 10 and he has 6 strength. 6! Six. 6! Six. <laughs> he should have like 12 or 13 by now. Gosh, okay. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you on the next episode when hopefully Ike will get some strength or something. Because something's going to have to give here soon. I don't know. But I guess thanks so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.